This is Samar from Developer Relations at BlackBerry. Welcome to this video on all you need to know about getting set up for signing your BlackBerry 10 native app. App signing identify you in the BlackBerry World Store as the author of the app and the only one who can submit upgrades to it. In this video, I will walk you through the process of creating your code signing tokens and I will show you how to configure your BlackBerry 10 Momentix IDE for signing. You only need to perform these steps once when you are ready to publish your app. Before the 10.2 release, app signing of BlackBerry apps was done using code signing keys. Starting 10.2 and forward, app signing has moved to BlackBerry ID instead. And this is awesome news for you. You no longer need to install, backup, and keep safe your code signing keys. You can start enjoying the ease of use, multi-terminal login, and the password recovery options that come with the new signing process. This video is for you if you are getting started as a new BlackBerry 10 author. If you are an existing BlackBerry 10 author in BlackBerry World and want to migrate to the new process, please visit this blog post by Mark Sohm. Now, let's get started. The process of getting set up for signing basically consists of three super simple steps. 1. Create a BlackBerry ID account. 2. Create a BlackBerry ID token. 3. Create a developer certificate. If you don't have one already, the very first step is to create a BlackBerry ID account. A BlackBerry ID account is your one single access account to many BlackBerry websites, apps, and services like BBM, BlackBerry World, BlackBerry Link, BlackBerry Developer Forums, BlackBerry Developer Issue Tracker, and much more. It is also the account you use to sync your BlackBerry devices to your computer. To create your BlackBerry ID now, simply go to blackberryid.blackberry.com and press Create a BlackBerry ID Online. Fill in the required information, enter the verification code, and click Submit. The next step is to create a BlackBerry ID token. This is simply the token that you are going to use to sign your apps and is valid for one year from the creation date. There are two ways to obtain a BlackBerry ID token, either through developer.blackberry.com slash code signing or through your IDE. To create a BlackBerry ID token online, go to developer.blackberry.com slash code signing from your development computer. There, Sign in using your BlackBerry ID login credentials. You will then be taken to a page where you can create a BlackBerry ID token. Choose your password and agree to the license agreement. Make sure to save your BlackBerry ID token in the indicated directory path based on your operating system. For Windows 7, it is usually under Home Path, App Data, Local, Research and Motion. To create a BlackBerry ID token through your IDE on a Windows machine, in your IDE go to the Window menu, Click Preferences, then go to BlackBerry Signing. Enter and confirm your password, then click Get Token. This will take you to the BlackBerry ID sign-in page. Enter your BlackBerry ID account credentials and click Sign In. Notice that after you sign in, the Obtain BlackBerry ID Token for Signing section of the Signing Preferences dialog will be automatically marked as complete. And if you now go to the Home Path Local Settings App Data Research and Motion folder, you will now find a bbidtoken.csk file created. The next step is to create your developer certificate. The developer certificate is simply a file with a .p12 extension that contains your author information. To create your developer certificate, once again, go to the BlackBerry Signing dialog box in your IDE. Under the Developer Certificate section, click Create Certificate. In the Open dialog box, enter your name or your company name in the Author field. Then choose and confirm a key store password and click OK. 
Notice that the Developer Certificate section of the Signing Preferences dialog box has now been updated with the certificate's path and author name. And if you now go to your IDE home directory, you will find your certificate created under the author.p12 file name. You now know how to get yourself set up as a Black Bay 10 author and how to set up your native environment for signing. The author.p12 and the bbidtoken.csk files are basically all you need for signing. In a follow-up video, I will walk you through the process of signing your app using those two files. But before I leave, let me show you how to configure another machine for signing using the same signing files. To do so, you have two options. A. Simply go through steps 2 and 3 again. Or B. Use the Backup and Restore option in the Signing Preferences dialog. First on the original machine, backup your code signing files. The backup of your signing files contains a copy of your developer certificate and BlackBay ID token. Then on the second machine, restore those backed up files either by clicking the Restore button and locating the two files to the IDE or by simply moving the two files to your IDE home directory and your IDE will automatically detect the files. Finally, provide the key store password of the author.p12 file in the BlackBerry Signing Preferences dialog. Now your second machine is also all set up for signing. That brings us to the end of this video. If you have any questions, leave me a comment in the comment section below or drop me a tweet at Samar Abdel Sayed. Subscribe to our channel to receive a notification when we upload new videos. I hope you found this video helpful and we will see you again soon.